Hello XTC family and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto, then you are in the right place. Today we're going to be talking about XTC plus a lot more. We're going to be talking about the 16th anniversary of Bitcoin and blockchain. We will also look at why XDC is overlooked and undervalued. Also, should you be buying gold? We will then watch a short clip from Larry Fink, who is now bullish on crypto. So what does that mean? And finally, a massive one for XDC as they receive a new strategic investment from a venture platform. So I hope you will stick around to the end. We shall continue right after this intro. Looking at coin market cap, currently the total market cap is 2.3 trillion with a 24 hour volume of $84 billion. And looking at the rest of the market, Bitcoin at 70k, Ethereum at 2.5k, everything is kind of ranging because the elections in the USA are really, really close. Maybe we are going to get that clarity once we have a pro crypto government. Looking at the RWA coins, as we can see, they are pretty much in the red as well. As we know, we are closely tied to Bitcoin. And while Bitcoin is still there, even though, yes, it doesn't solve a real world problem, it is the shiny object that is being used as a marketing tactic. But I think with what's happening in the world right now, a lot of pro crypto people are coming out, especially in USA. I think everything is going to flourish, especially with a use case. And seeing XTC at below 3 cents on this list is pretty damn amazing because this gives us more time to buy more XTC. Looking at some important news from Donald Trump himself, he's wishing everybody a happy 16th anniversary of Satoshi's white paper. And it wasn't that Bitcoin came about 16 years ago, it was the technology behind it. It brought in blockchain technology and since Bitcoin's inception, we have had so much better projects out there that have come forward to change the world for the better and XDC is definitely one of them. And Trump promises here that if he wins, he will end the war on crypto. And he also says that Bitcoin will be made in the USA. So maybe they are going to be mining a lot of Bitcoin in the future. But really, do you want to mine something that costs the earth? It costs too much electric. I don't think Bitcoin is the future. Like I said before, Bitcoin is the shiny object, but we've got much better technologies out there. But either way, Trump is looking promising as a pro crypto candidate. Looking at the XDC chart, yes, XDC at 2.7 cents. It is a bit on the low side, but guys, it's been hovering below 3 cents for a while. It's not gone mentally up or mentally down. It's just been ranging, which is still good to see, to be honest. I mean, on the other hand, the volume has gone up by 11% almost to 10.5 million. But guys, I'm not here for this two digit volume. I'm here for the three, four digit volume and at least a trillion dollar market cap, which is going to happen in the longer term because these asset classes cannot be compared to the big institutions you see today because this technology is totally different. It is much bigger than you can ever imagine. As you will see later on in this video, Larry Fink will confirm why he's bullish on crypto and so many other good things. Looking at a tweet from XDC Avirex, XDC, it is tier one exchange ready. Yes, it has been for a very long time and they are definitely keeping it hush hush. They don't want everybody to know. And with a lot of the bigger exchanges not listing XDC, I do think it is a plan in motion. It is a show. They don't want everybody to know about XDC. I mean, just imagine how many people actually know about XDC globally. Because if less than 10% of people are holding crypto right now in the globe, then imagine how many people from that 10% know about XDC. It's probably going to be 0.0001 or something crazy like that. So we are very lucky we have been chosen to hold XDC. And adding more icing to the cake, yes, XDC is institutional adoption ready. XDC 2.0 never came out as a coincidence. It was pre-planned, right? 
We've got many accelerator programs. We are government ready. We've got many multi-trillion dollar partnerships in the pipeline. XDC is definitely an innovation token, a yield token. Yes, it's definitely overlooked. And when you look at all of these points and so many things that we've covered over the last few months and years, yes, XDC is undervalued. And I really understand what you feel like. You know, I feel the bloody same. I believe XDC should have been at least one to two digits by now with all the things that are going on. But guys, everything has a place. Nobody gets rich overnight. There's no such thing as flip the damn switch overnight situation. It is going to take time. But I honestly think we are much closer than we were. So guys, all you got to do is diamond hands and believe in XDC. Looking at tweet from Jim Rickards. Womp, there it is. Gold hits $2,800. Great that Americans are not buying it. That means there's plenty of upside left when they finally see what's happening. And Jim Rickards, guys, has been preaching gold for a very long time because he believes gold is coming back in a digital way as well. It's going to help the reset. It's going to be involved in a much bigger way than we can imagine. That's why I wanted to bring this up because gold is still a good investment opportunity. I believe gold is going to at least 4x from here. It's going to be hard to buy further down the line because why do you think the central banks are buying tons and tons of gold? All the countries in the world have already been piling on gold for many, many years now. So if you can afford to do so, guys, buy some physical or digital gold. Looking at it from Cointelegraph. Larry Fink says, I am very bullish on the long-term viability of Bitcoin. BlackRock now holds over 2% of the total Bitcoin supply through its spot Bitcoin ETF. Now, I'm not surprised, guys. BlackRock, one of the biggest asset managers in the world, who manages trillions of dollars, in my opinion. They are involved in real-world asset tokenization because they know it's the damn future. And I believe, honestly... They already knew Bitcoin was coming out. They already knew all this was going to happen because it's been pre-planned. The elite plan ahead and the retail really, really know what is really going on. So we're going to watch this short clip from Larry Fink to understand why he's bullish on crypto. So let's have a quick listen and then we shall have a quick discussion straight after. I, I'm very bullish um, on the long-term viability of Bitcoin. I was going to say, did that surprise that you? That surprised me how much that's really? gone up. I mean... Look at it, 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 it is, we, we're creating now a market that has more liquidity, more transparency, and I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised, and I would never have predicted it before we filed it, that we were gonna see this type of retail demand. So you thought you'd do good, yeah. but not this good? I thought, yes. yes. Well, I bet, Definitely. Is, I bet is your ETF yes. over at iShares. Yes. It's about to overtake Grayscale, which was in the business uh, certainly a lot longer, you look at the gains since January 11th, when it first came about. Yes. Have you ever seen this much inflow this quickly into... IBIT is the fastest growing ETF in the history of ETFs. He is bullish on Bitcoin. For me, if he's bullish on Bitcoin, he is also bullish on crypto. Because like he said many times in the past, you have to pay attention to it, guys. All the things they say do matter. That utility, something that solves a problem, is what they are after right now they are putting all their money into bitcoin yes it's very clear but i think once everything is set and done their money is going to flow out of bitcoin into utility very very fast and also as we heard there something very bullish is that he said this was the biggest fastest growing etf ever seen in this world so this was a big etf because it's still growing faster than any other etf they've ever had in the past so crypto is here to stay guys it's getting bigger and better big players are involved but don't be fooled by the shiny object because they will shift their money quicker than you can blink looking at some huge news for xdc xdc trade network received strategic investment from gtr ventures as we already know yes we are addressing a massive trade finance gap which is exceeding two and a half trillion it's only getting bigger. So who are GTR Ventures? Let's have a quick look into this article. So we have received a strategic investment from GTR Ventures, the world's first investment and venture building platform specialized in trade, trade finance and supply chain. Did you hear that? 
they are specialists in this area. XDC is joining the specialists to solve the trade finance problem. The gap, which is currently two and a half trillion, which is actually bigger than that because it's only growing bigger. So we're talking about XDC specializing in a industry which is trillions of dollars of opportunity. And something important to take note of here is the legislation. As you can see, many countries, many big economies have already adopted the MLETR law because they know it's the only way forward. It's the only way to remain relevant. It's the only way to be on that level playing field and be competitive. And XTC is at the center of that transformation. And something even more exciting is that this announcement fell during the Singapore week of innovation. We are expecting many key leaders, entrepreneurs, investors from global Asia to attend this event, right? Over 15,000 in-person attendees are anticipated this year. So just imagine what this shows, the people who are going to be there, what XDC is achieving, what XDC just achieved with GTR. It's going to be huge, guys, right? It paints a big picture for XDC with all these developments, all these problems that XDC is tirelessly waiting to solve. Do you really think they're going to choose anybody else for RWA, trade finance? Because XDC once again has proven again and again that it is the best at what it does so don't worry about the price for now the price will catch up diamond hands are gonna win weak hands are gonna lose so don't fall for the fud guys a lot of fud out there don't get knocked out keep your assets safe keep them offline a decent ad is now gonna follow listen to the ad there is currently a massive discount running on the decent wallets help yourself guys by using my link and support the channel at the same time so guys thank you for watching today I shall see you on the next video. I am using a decent wallet. You know why? Because it has unmatched security. It is perfected with fingerprint technology. In total, they support 64 mainnets and more than 3,600 cryptocurrencies. The decent wallet uses a robust security technology. As you can see, they have a certified security chip, Bluetooth connection, automatic verification of genuine software and offline key generation and just before we talk about the price decent now has a blog they give a lot of good information on the latest trends in crypto assets like xdz and many others so if you want to learn about crypto please follow their blog so talking about the price you can currently get your hands on one biometric wallet for only $109. The usual price is $159. So currently using my discount link, you can now get $50 off. The link is now at the top of the video, in the comment section, and in the description. So help yourself if you wanna get one wallet. On the other hand, if you wanna buy two wallets, you can then get a bigger discount. You can currently buy two biometric wallets for $189. The usual price is $318. So using my link, you are getting a whopping $129 off. Once again, my link is now at the top of the video. Use the link and get yourself this massive discount and secure your generational wealth today.